So here's how to make your GHK G5 lower bulletproof. What you will need, electrical tape, a monkey wrench, some rubber bands, dollar store epoxy with the mixing tip, some heavy objects, books or advice would probably work best, and of course, an uncracked lower. Now, things to note, the epoxy needs to have the mixing tip to do a clean job because mixing the epoxy in the lower is not easy. Now, can you get away with using dollar store epoxy? Yes, you can, and I recommend you do. I'm doing it two years now with no issues. Why pay extra money for something you don't need? Airsoft is expensive, so keep it simple where you can. Here's a lower I've already completed. You can see the molding on it looks real nice from where the tape held it. I'm going to show you how to do that here in just a moment. So, here's how you do it. Let's clear the desk off a little bit. So, the first step here is going to be Get a strip of electrical tape, probably about four inches long, maybe three. Anything in there will work. And you're going to want to put it along the back of the lower to block these fins off so your epoxy cannot flood out of there. Try to get the tape as close to the bottom edge as you can. Surface tension should keep it from squeezing through the gap, but see what you can do. Next, take your monkey wrench, get it about to the width of the rear fin section, a little more, and put it where you got the tape. Get your rubber bands, and attach the wrench as so. This will keep the tape there and keep it from leaking out. Now, you get your epoxy with the mixing tip and inject it. It's very simple. Now, watch as the chemicals flow through there and mix right up. You might want some paper towels in the area to wipe up any excess. And this is pretty much it. Inject it right in there. You want to go until you get it level with the horizon, you know, with the top of this. It will take up quite a bit. And the second fin. And if any epoxy starts leaking out, quickly remove the monkey grips and wipe it free. You don't want it drying there. The lower needs to close over it right at that spot. That needs to be completely devoid. It might leak some at first. Once you wipe that away once, the residual layer should dry right on the crack and stop it from happening again. But you should keep an eye on it while it's drying. And put the monkey wrench back. I'm going to hold this completely straight up and down to let gravity keep it nice and flat. Now, we're going to let this dry and come back later. Okay, so once your receiver is done drying in that position, 
Go ahead and make it vertical. Use your vise or your heavy objects to hold it against the table straight up and down. Now we're going to fill in the area that is directly behind this wall right here, the wall that goes under the rear body pin. You want to get that back on the side with the fins. So just as you would imagine, plug your other tip right into the epoxy. go and fill her up now once the area behind that wall is finished go ahead and tilt it at a bit of an angle and go in front of the wall I'll roll in a diagram here of where I'm talking about you want to hold this at an angle so that gravity pulls the epoxy down and it comes and meets the lower floor at a point that is just at the beginning of where the selector is directly under it this here is actually very important because it will help the rear reinforcement pull on the ground of the receiver it helps transfer the stress better to have too steep of an angle than too shallow of one because if this goes too far forward it will interfere with how the trigger interacts with the lower so play with it until you get just the right angle or the base of the epoxy is going just to where the selector starts, the hole for the selector that is. I'm going to try and use up all my epoxy here even though it's really not that important. I have no other use for it. And then sit and let it dry. History for you. I bought my G5 in January 2015 as a backup for when my AEGs were broken. When the heat of the spring came, my first lower cracked on me. So I decided to add in Sorbo and a recoil spring spacer to lessen the impact on the lower receiver. As the heat of the summer rolled in, my new lower was probably weak in some, but was still in good shape. Sometime in August 2015, I decided to try the Devil Hunter mod with my G5. Liquid CO2 into a mag. What a great idea. The gun kicked so hard it was comical. It actually hurt to fire the G5 like that. However, my lower cracked in about 20 shots, so I knew I needed a better reinforcement mod if I was going to stick with the platform. I decided to fill the empty areas in the lower with epoxy. Thus the mod was born. The first lower I did with epoxy, I used the normal stuff without the mixing tip. I flooded the lower and then mixed the two chemicals inside the fins. I did not get a very good mix, so the end result was stronger, but it was also a bit gummy and not solidified in certain areas. That lower never cracked, but I ended up selling it so I could do a more aesthetic job. This is why it's important to use the epoxy with the mixing tip. It's very difficult to get a clean mix if you're stirring the compounds inside the lower. You need the mixing tip to pull this off nicely. I have since had no breakages whatsoever. I've used the RA Tech steel bolt in the heat of the summer, fired it with the stock folded with and without recoil spring spacers. Nothing will crack this lower receiver if the mod is properly done. So why make this video now? Better late than never. After I devised this mod and underwent testing, it was some time before I realized it was a complete solution to the issue, which is why I did not immediately sound the alarm in the G5 community. As I was testing it, I mentioned it a few times responding to comments on the Facebook G5 page. Other people began trying it as well. This modification is only one of two that this gun needs out of the box to perform without issues. Number two would be the mag catches need to be bent in order to improve last shot hold open. 